All right, guys, it's Friday. I ain't got no job, and I ain't got nothing to do. No, I'm just kidding. I got a job. <laughs> but I am off today. So what I want to do today is, as you guys can see, I'm chilling. I'm at the house. I'm taking it easy. My wife and I are going to a uh, what's called a diamond ball tonight. So for those of you that don't know, I'm a member of Camp Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Shout out to the noobs. And tonight we're having a gala. So for the rest of the day, I'm just kind of chilling. And I um, wanted to go through some fragrances here that I got sent by various companies. There are four different companies here. Well, three companies. One is an influencer. Um, so I want to talk about these fragrances. That's the thing. When people send you stuff like this, they want to get your opinion. So I'm just giving my opinion. No discount codes, no anything like that. Just some fragrances I've had in the vault for probably about a month or so. I just want to talk about them. Give you guys my thoughts. Should be fun. Also, I'm going to do some random giveaways. So you can't put that in the title because, you know, nowadays these idiots come and they ask you guys to send them a telegram. It's not me. All right. I try to get you guys to send them money. Don't do that. <clears throat> I almost want to say I don't feel sorry for people that fall for that, but I want anybody to get taken for a ride. So don't do that. It's not me. But I'll reach out to you, not by telegram, if you win something. Anyway. Let's get into it. YouTube, what's good, man? It's the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fragrances on this channel. But also, I get into a little bit of fashion, you know, some lifestyle, some grooming stuff as well. So, listen, man, if you don't want to be out there smelling good, why don't you look your best as well, right? Why not? You know, so if you're into that, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you enable notifications by hitting the bell icon as well. So that way, when a new video is uploaded, you'll get notified. All right, so I already gave you guys what the video is about in the intro. So we're going to go ahead and run the actual intro and then we'll get into it. Again, I have four, three brands and one fragrance that was done by a uh, YouTube reviewer. I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts on it. So this should be fun. May give you a chance to discover some different, you know, new fragrances that aren't really on your radar because these are a little bit lesser known brands, you know. So um, we're going to get into it, man. So if you want to see what I have to say about these fragrances, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. What's good, guys? This is your guy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And I just want to let you guys know about a sale that I am running with Novelis Parfum for my collection, guys. If you're not aware, I did a collection with Novelis Parfum. I did five fragrances. And listen, for the next couple weeks, we're going to run a sale. You buy one fragrance, use the code Bowtie30, you'll get 30% off. But if you buy two or more, 50% off. It's the winter season. If you're looking for a great gourmand, grab Divine Aphrodisiac. This has a beautiful peanut butter accord, coffee, and Indian sesame. Amazing gourmand fragrance. And if you're looking for the perfect signature scent, grab Sartorial Nui. This is tonka bean, vanilla, sandalwood, and lavender. And if you're looking for the compliment machine, grab Eau Debonair. This has florals, but it also has oak moss, musk, and ambroxan. This will get you a lot of compliments and also another signature scent this is lyric hands down this is just one of the best fragrances on the planet all right guys so head over to novelist platform don't forget to use the discount code bowtie 30 if you buy one bowtie 50 if you buy two or more you can get some holiday savings i'll let you on the flip side peace all right guys we're back thank you so much for keeping it locked let's jump right into it now this first brand that i want to talk about um Actually, is a brand, and I think of the other out of the other brands that I'm going to talk about today. This is probably the more well-known brand of the three, and uh, of course the um, well four. Let's just say four. And um, so I want to start with that one. And the brand is called Blackleaf. Blackleaf. Yeah, Black Cliff. I'm sorry, Black Cliff Parfums. I did get a full bottle, um, 
before they sent it to me, I looked at the notes and I think I chose this one um, because it sounds very interesting to me. But the presentation on these are really nice. I only have one full bottle, but let's take a look at it, man. And let's get into what it smells like. So you open the box, very nice presentation. And there rests your bottle. Really like the presentation on these, man. So it looks just like a rock, right? <laughs> This is the name kind of ind indicates there. Really nice presentation, very unique. And on the front of the bottle, it says the uh, name of the brand and the name of the fragrance. Again, this is called Hello Darkness. All right, so I'm gonna give it a spray and then I'll look at the notes uh, to tell you guys what I'm picking up uh, in this one. But let's see what we got, man. Let's see what this smells like here. Pretty nice sprayer there. Oh, I like this. This is like a, it almost smells like a slightly spicy honey. I get a lot of something that smells very honey-like in this honey. And it's sweet. It's more of a, like I said, most of the time for me, uh, when you talk about, when I think about sweet notes, notes that add sweetness to a fragrance, typically I think vanilla or tonka, although those aren't the only notes that can add sweetness to a fragrance, but those are the first two that usually comes to my mind. I'm definitely picking up some tonka bean here. Oh yeah, this is kind of up my alley, man. This is almost like the honey that I smelled in um, the new Jubilation Man 40. So it's not that really rich, um, rich uh, kind of animalic honey like you would smell in uh, what's the name of the fragrance? By Killian's. I can't think of the name of it right now. It's from Killian, though. Yeah, Back to Black. This has got a little bit of a freshness on the top. So it's a little bit fresh, spicy. Definitely getting honey and tonka bean. This smells really good. Jesus. Hello, darkness. This is very unique. A very unique fragrance, but it smells great. Um, let's see what's in it, because I think the notes are actually um, on the back of the box, I want to say. All right, so some of the notes in here. Rose, lavender. That's where that kind of freshness was coming in. Jasmine, honey, tobacco. Aha, incense, oak moss, resins, and tonka bean. So I was, real, I was correct on some of the stuff that I was smelling. This smells really good, guys. And I like the presentation on this. They actually have a little card that comes in there as well with the fragrance. And I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, the fragrances from this brand retail for about $2.45. So for niche prices, that's definitely not bad, a bad proposition there, uh, $2.45. This is really freaking good. I really like this. Again, here's the bottle. This one is called Hello Darkness. Wow. Very, I, I really like this. Now that oak moss is starting to peek through there. This is nice, guys. I don't want to spend too much time on each one because I got a lot to get through. And um, they actually sent me some sample sets of the entire range of their fragrances. So here's one, and here is the other one. Um, I think there are about, how many? There are three samples in each one, all right? Um, so yeah, man, definitely check out Black, Black Cliff dot com go to blackcliff.com and check these out uh this hello darkness is really good guys i'm i'm telling you i am really impressed with this one of the big things that you know impresses me nowadays is when a fragrance is unique the bottle presentation is very unique and the fragrance is unique and it smells really really good man seriously yeah this is good man this is really good check this out hello darkness really good and they have some sample sets that you could purchase as well if you want to check them out. I'm going to make sure I link all these companies down in the description. Again, I don't have any discount codes, unfortunately, but you can go and check them out. All right, guys. Next, we have Day 3 Fragrances. Day 3 Fragrances. Here is the box. All right. So, kind of simple presentation here. Um, I have two fragrances that we're going to get into. Um, so, you pull this out like this. And then your fragrance will rest securely in this in the box so here's what it looks like so i have two fragrances here this first one is called let's see i 
Philosophia. I would imagine that's how you pronounce that. Philosophia, that could be it as well. Either way, this is an extract to pop foam, and I think these are 50 ml bottles, so let's spray it. So we're gonna spray it. Sprayers are nice mist. Hmm, this is nice as well. This is a uh, hmm. Taco bean in here. Vanilla is in here. What is this floor? I'm getting something floral in this. Let's take a look and see what's in it. Okay, so in this one, this is an extract de parfum, black pepper, cardamom, cipri oil, tobacco, um, a little bit of, it says a hint of oud, chocolate, hazelnut, and it does have vanilla in it. Mmm, this is really nice, guys. You know I love sweet fragrances, so this smells really good. Wow. A hazelnut, chocolate, vanilla, and cardamom fragrance. Yeah, this is nice. This is called Philosophia or Philo, Philo, Philosophia. Pretty sure you pronounce it one of those two ways. Well, this one is nice, guys, and this is an extract to perform, so I would imagine that these are going to give you some pretty decent performance. Now, I'm really, really ready to smell this next one. Um, this one is called, man, some of these names, man. Come on, make it easy on us out here. La Tacita de Café. Here's a bottle. All right, so we'll spray it and then we'll go over what's in this one as well. Yes. See, I'm getting almost like a chocolate thing here too. It's a little bit fresher than the last one, but I do definitely get like a a chocolate feel in here too. I don't know if that's actually a chocolate note or maybe a patchouli. Mm, let's, let's see what's in it. Mm, this smells really good. Let's see. La Takita de Cafe. There looks like there's shop pay options on these guys. So if you are looking to get it, you could probably go that route. All right, so let's see what's in it. Orange spices. Um... Coffee, rum, caramel, rose, a mirrors, brown sugar, vanilla, tonka bean. Oh, those are the notes. Yeah, so it's kind of coming off chocolatey here. I guess that's the vanilla. Um, vanilla and caramel combination here. This smells really good. This is a gourmand. Woo, guys, these, listen. I really like both of these. And again, they're extract de parfums. So they seem like they would last a, a pretty... A long time being an extract to pop farm. And the price on these, what do we have here? 125. So that's not bad in my humble opinion for what you're probably gonna get with this. If you like gourmands, you definitely need to check both of these out. They both have a gourmand feel to them. The first one had chocolate in it, uh, vanilla. This one has caramel, hazelnut, coffee, rum. This is really, really nice. Kind of powdery and sweet. Just up my alley for what I typically like in fragrances. So again, the company is called Day 3 Fragrances. So there looks like they have about five or six other fragrances in their portfolio. So check them out as well. Pretty good. All right, guys. Now this next fragrance was done by um, the gentleman that has the YouTube channel, The School of Scent. Um, he did a fragrance a few months ago, sent it to me, and um, I'm going to get a chance to smell it with you guys. It's Mr. Romantic is the name of the fragrance. So let's check it out. All right, it's a black bottle. Kind of reminds me of the uh, bottles that Jeremy Fragrance had. Very similar. This cap is a little more sturdy. But yeah, it's a very similar presentation to Jeremy Fragrance Fragrance 1. 
that had the just plain black kind of matte bottle presentation. Um, very similar presentation on this, but it's called Mr. Romantic. Let's see what we have. So let's see how Mr. School is sent in on this fragrance. Okay, this is nice. It's definitely nice. I'm picking up some citruses up top. Mm, is this like maybe a mandarin orange? Maybe grapefruit? I may smell some lavender in here. I'm not sure. I'm just kind of going off what I'm feeling like I'm getting. I mean, it's very pleasant. It's, it's very pleasant. It's not anything that I think would knock your socks off per se, but it smells good. It's kind of like one of those uh, signature scent everyday wears, if you want to, uh, as that's how I would describe it. But it does smell good. Um, let me see what's in it. Let's see if I can find the notes on it. Okay, based on what I'm seeing here on Frey Grantica, that freshness was coming from chamomile. Now there's labdanum, cardamom. I did pick up lavender, so that was correct. Neroli, I love neroli in fragrances. And then on the dry down, you have musk, vanilla, and sandalwood. So yeah, it's, it's nice. You know, like I said, this is not something that you would be, that I think anybody would smell and not like the way it smells. It's a very uh, highly uh, likable scent profile. Like I said, nothing crazy that you probably haven't uh, kind of smelled before, but it's really nice. So, you know, overall, good job. I think it will appeal to uh, the masses of people. Like I said, most people that probably get their hands on this, most and you probably wear this out, they'll probably be like, man, you smell really nice. So, you know, it does smell good. Good job on that, uh, Mr. School of Scent. Um, I have one more uh, brand here that I want to preview for you guys. And the fragrance brand is called Henrik, Henrik Lundquist, Lundquist, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Next Chapter, I think, is the line name. So the, the, the fragrances actually look like they come in a book. All right, so this is Chapter 1. It's white with black embellishments on it. And then Chapter 2 is black with gold embellishments. So let's check it out. So how should we start? Well, let's start with chapter one. <laughs> okay, so when you open it up, pretty nice presentation. I would take it as Henry, Henrik uh, Lundquist himself by Morgan Madison Sweden. All right, so there's a whole write-up on this, on this fragrance, which I'm not gonna read it all to you guys, but I will read the notes. Pineapple, grapefruit, bergamot, nutmeg, cashmere wood, uh, amber, white pepper, Rose, oak moss, and vanilla. All right. So and then it just kind of talks about the collaboration uh, between him and the company. All right. And uh, here's what the fragrance looks like. All right. There we go. It's coming to view. So again, this is a. Uh, a very, very simple presentation. What size is this bottle? 70 ml, so it's a 70 ml bottle. Next chapter, volume one. All right, so cap, cap comes off. So let's give it a spray and see what we got. All right, so let's see the sprayer on this. Okay, decent mist there. Pleasant. Again, this one, this one kind of like the previous one I talked about. Nothing, I would say, put that unique brand on, a little label on. Kind of smells like, uh, which one from Creed this reminds me of? It kind of has a slight, a more peppery, kind of Creed from Green Iris Tweed kind of vibe on it. That's how I would describe this. It smells good, but again, it's a nice, I think it'll be something in the summertime, summertime, springtime you could throw on. It smells nice. Again, nothing unique, but it does smell good. Like I said, if you like a fragrance like Cree's Green Irish Tweed, imagine that with a little more of a peppery, spicy kick to it up top. I think it does, it says, uh, says it has black pepper in it. 
So I'm getting a lot of that black pepper up top in this one. Fresh, the citrus is up top. That pineapple, uh, grapefruit thing. It's nice. You know what? It may be more of an Aventus feel. Maybe that's what I'm I said the wrong thing. Yeah, it actually does. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's more of an Aventus vibe. A more peppery, spicy version of Aventus. So, yeah. It, it smells, it kind of smells like um, more like a Mont Blanc Explorer. That's exactly what this smelled like to me. So, I mean, if you smell Mont Blanc Explorer, you kind of smell this. But, I mean, obviously that smells pretty good. But it does smell like Mont Blanc Explorer. That's exactly what it smells like. So, let's go to volume two, volume dos. Now, this one has pepper, bergamot. So, I guess you'll get that spiciness up top as well. Ginger, so I'm thinking fresh. Vetiver and patchouli, earthy. Amber, amber and cedarwood. So, I'll probably get like a vanilla kind of sweetness from that amber accord. And, of course, that woodiness that cedarwood normally provides to a fragrance. Here is what chapter two looks like. All right, so I'll spray it and we'll see what it's see what we get here, man. Yeah. Not as much a fan of this one. Yeah, I'm not a really fan of this one. I don't know what it is that I'm picking up that I don't like. Sometimes I don't like when, when fragrances start out and they're super peppery. And I don't really pick anything else up outside of the pepper. But it is pepper and bergamot is opening notes. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that one. At least I'm on the test strip. Let me spray my skin and see what I if I pick up something different. It's a little bit fresher. I get more of the, on my skin, I get more of the ginger than the pepper. But on that test strip, it was kind of bland. Ah, eh, not, not really, doesn't really, that one doesn't do anything for me. I like the one, first one better, although it smells like a Creed Aventus Mont Blanc Explorer kind of fragrance. So you smelled it before, but it does smell good. But this one, I'm not, eh. It doesn't smell bad, just like kind of blah to me, that fragrance. So that's chapter two. So of those two, especially for, for you folks that like a Creed Aventus kind of DNA, I would look at chapter one. Uh, chapter two is more of a spicy, peppery ginger fragrance, or at least on top. Doesn't smell bad, it's just not really my type of, nothing to get me excited. But anyway, guys, those are four brands. Uh, the fragrance from my School of Scent, Mr. Romantic, you have... Uh, Henrik Lundquist, I think that's how you pronounce that. If I'm incorrect, I apologize. By Morgan Madison, so I guess it's like a collaboration they did with him. So you had those two fragrances. You have Black Cliff, uh, which those smell really good. The fragrance with Hello Darkness smells great. Unique, Why Up My Alley, a honey fragrance. Love that one. And then you had Day 3 fragrances, so those are really good as well. So, you know. Like, like I said, when I get stuff in like this, guys, I at least just want to tell you these are my thoughts. These are my thoughts. I don't have discount codes or anything. I'm not getting any money or anything. I just want to, you know, they wanted my opinion on them. That's my opinion. You know, so uh, if you smelled any of these fragrances, guys, I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. I'm feeling pretty good today. I might do another video. I got a little time. So um, as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. But don't forget to take a few moments out to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you. Flip side. Peace.